Zell boy army. What is going on? It's your boy Zelonius and my man Ainsley. We're here today with an insane spicy video for you boys. We got, well, let me just show you. Third in the world this weekend. 30 and uh, I think they made the matchmaking harder in the last 10 games, so I feel like a 30 this year is probably as good as a 40 last year. It's very competitive. Um, a 30 and I was two weeks into FIFA was a big achievement. It took me till December last year to get my first 40. So to do that so early on, massively pleased with it. Adapted the tactics slightly from the videos I've shown you a few weeks ago. You can see my record. Tactics clearly working 454 wins, two draws, 38 losses. It's like pretty good. Uh, I think it's like 12 wins to one loss record. So the tactics are working. I'm going to show you today, boys, the tactics that got us. 30 now. In terms of the weekend league, it was a pretty comfortable weekend league for the most part. A few games were a bit tight. The last game was crazy. I streamed it to about 1,200 people. Check the link to my stream in the description below if you've never watched me stream. I stream every single day, eight hours plus a day. But I was pretty dominant. I had like 20 shots off. It's not like 15 to 20 shots compared to the guy's six. But I ended up going to penalties. I conceded in the 90th minute. He did a 112th minute equaliser and then managed to win on penalties in the last game. So, crazy weekend for you know. Make sure you check out the video on Thursday and we look at the rewards we got from today. But yeah, boys, insane weekend. Thank you to everyone who stopped by to support the stream. So, let's get and look at the tactics. I'll show you the tactics, formations, player instructions, etc. for the team. Okay, this is the team that we rocked with. Eusebio is nearly two goals assists a game which when you count rage quits would be easy that card is just incredible favorite card i've used all year this prime best was insane this weekend as well love him one of the best cards i've used that's not supposed to be a pun but i really like him piero as well really good did put a really good shift in for me blanc's top tier really like this team there's no one really that i hate but obviously we'll keep upgrading it Okay, custom tactics, the balanced, that's just to get the team full chem. I don't use the balanced tactic. In game, I'll nearly always switch to this defensive one. So similar to what we were using before, but pressure on heavy touch. I've made it to four width, four depth. Um, a little bit higher on the whip, just to defend crossing. If your opponent it just keeps crossing it all game, it might be worth pausing and up in the width a bit, or if you'd either played a 4-3-3 or 4 4 2 just up the width a bit just to make sure that you're dealing with the crossing. This step seems good enough that you're not so deep that you're inviting all the pressure on, but you've also got enough to press them and counter attack a bit higher up the pitch. Balanced is by far my favourite. Possession seems too slow. Long ball makes you seem too isolated and fast build up just seems useless unless you're all out of tap because fast build up your players just run past their men and leave you with no options. I have really high width, just so I don't get congested in the middle, can space the attacks out, seems to work quite well. Players in the box, I hate a lot of long shots and I don't have tall players, so I don't really want too many players in the box. I've moved the corners to four because corners are so so good on this year's game. And the more men I have in the box, the more chance I have of causing some mayhem getting a goal. Three kicks, just left them free. Instructions, I put stay central getting behind, stay forward and both for strikers. Stay forward, stay on edge of box and conservative interceptions on my cam. I don't want my cam to be constantly chasing people down. I want him to be the link between the attack and the defence. So I'll leave him on that. All the midfielders are on uh, cover centre. The only the other Pogba and De Bruyne in the centre mids are on default. I put the CDM though on cut passing line, stay back while attacking. I want cover centre on because this formation is all about dominating the middle. And if you put cover wing on, then you just leave gaps in the middle. Stay back on all the defenders in this formation. It's like trying to feel out the opponent, see what they're like, play steady to start with. And I don't want my fullbacks pushing up too much, so I have stay back. If if I go behind, then we switch to this formation. So it's see a bit more aggressive, ups the width, up the depth, makes it a bit easier to press. It does leave a little bit of a gap behind the um, the press after possession loss is quite useful. It's just higher intensity lower the width by one still quite wide but a bit more in the middle just so you can force the issue a bit more more players in the box just to create more chances than 4-4 on those 
Do we have anything else? I think we have one of the sentiments here on getting to the box. Pogba is quite tall. It's quite useful. And the fullbacks are on balance so, and the overlap. So it's quite a bit more attacking, but it's not like all out attacking it. The all out attack one we use. This one you can see nearly max on the depth and width on constant pressure. This is basically forcing our opponents into um, playing really well, keep ball to stop us getting it. This is only something they use if I'm like three goals down or a goal or two down late on. Just constant pressure, everything we can. Max players, up corners, free kicks, very high on width and players in the box. Because I put the width high on this because we have the full backs on joining the attack overlaps. So they provide a lot of width. But as you can see, lots of pressure. We're doing whatever we can to get back into the game here. This is only for desperate times, though. So I wouldn't be doing this unless absolutely desperate. As you can see, all these tactics using the narrow diamond, I think at the moment that's the best all-round formation. I think it's pretty solid defensively. You can boss the midfield. You can use full-backs for some width. Two strike formations. Got a camera, so I really like it. But for the part of the bus ultra-defensive team in a game, I, I go to the false nine. So you have a centre forward, the centre forward drops into the midfield, gives you a link up. So it's almost like a four man midfield still, but you have two wingers who give you a lot of width. Um, in game, on the attacking or the ultra attacking one, it can be worth doing team press and overload ball side. That can be quite useful, that's the in game instructions. When you're playing the false nine possession, try to keep the ball hug touchline works quite well. Literally means your wingers will stand pretty much right on the chalk, on the touchline. Do as much as they can to stay wide and give you that outlet. So I've dropped back, not the lowest of whips, I still want to stop the crosses getting in. The width on this, somewhere in the middle, so it's a bit higher than the middle. Because you want to be able to play it out wide. When you're trying to keep the ball, it's massively important that you've got a lot of width and your players are spaced out, so you, if you're congested, it makes it hard to keep it. All of these are on comeback except for the, the um, striker or centre forward I want pushed up a little bit more just because it's important you've still got at least one outlet the wings are on cut inside you can put them on stay wide though it depends on what you want I just prefer to cut inside so they still have an opportunity to attack midfield's all on stay back and cover centre as you can imagine the defenders are all on stay back so there you go boys those are the tactics that got me a fair you know I guarantee that they'll help you out if you try them out Lots of people have been using a variation of the tactics, using the exact tactics that I've been recommending, saying how big it's helped them, how much it's improved the game. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, boys. Let me know in the comments if you've been using my tactics before, if they've been helping. Give me some feedback. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you don't already. Providing lots of weekly, con weekly, daily content on weekdays for you. Check out stream. Thank you very much for watching. Keep it spicy.